I was All right, really, now go ahead and gloat, Rob Parker. Go I ahead. was right. I was you said right. That all right already. I told you. <laughs> you kept saying, oh, no, he's going to come back. I this mean, is the this only was, thing. The, hold on. It this makes sense. me against you? No, I'm just saying. But I, I mean, was trying to tell you that nobody sends their girlfriend out to go get a better offer and then come back to me. That was my thing, Chris. If Robert Kraft really wanted Tom Brady to stay in New England, he could have made it happen. And when they offered him a well, one Robert year. Robert Kraft is saying that. One you know year he said bogus. It was Brady's decision. No, it wasn't. It was the Patriots. I'm just decision. saying that's what he said. That's what they're saying, so they could just wash their hands of it. And I get it. Instead, that's what they did. Make make it so that Tom Brady, we gave him an offer and he he decided not to come back. No, they didn't. They never wanted him back. Uh, Robert Kraft was able to uh, stave off Bill Belichick a couple years ago with the Jimmy Garoppolo. We know that. He wanted to get rid of him back then, Chris, and Robert Kraft said no. Brady stuck around. He happened to win another Super Bowl, and uh, it still wasn't good enough. Bill Belichick wanted to move on, and that's why they gave him a low ball, one-year offer, and now he has, what, $30 million offers on the table or whatever? Offer, Uh, apparently. Okay, on the table. But my point is they never wanted Tom Brady to come back and I, I, I got that sense really early on because I didn't understand why he moved his family out of New England, why he put his house up for sale, why he kept uh, talking about uh, the Patriots. Go check around. Go check what your value is and all that. If they really wanted him to wear a Patriots uniform for his entire career, they could have made it happen, and it was just money. And the other part is this, is, this shouldn't come as a surprise, Chris, because we've talked about this. Look at all the great quarterbacks who finished up elsewhere. This is just what happens in the NFL. Tom Brady's not the first, and he won't be the last. Here's the one thing, though, that's different from all of those situations. Because you're right, Joe Montana finished up in Kansas City. You could just stop right there. It was 4-0, right, with the 49ers. Right. You could just stop there. If that well, guy has to go. but you don't I'm, need to because you obviously had other, other no, guys I know, in but that I'm just class, saying, not, not Montana, but, but I'm just meaning if if you're four and zero and and did right. what he did and you can move on from that guy, then anybody can be moved on. But That's here's I mean. the thing: they had Steve Young, wait, who's another Hall of Famer, waiting in the wings. Peyton Manning, when he left, when Indianapolis moved on from him, they had Andrew Luck waiting in the wings. You know, when Brett Favre, when Gr- uh, Green Bay moved on from him, they had Aaron Rodgers. Waiting in the wings. Another Hall of Famer. New England's got Jared Stidham. I mean, that's the thing. Like, New England is not going to win much this year. And I do think Belichick wants to show that he can win without Tom Brady. And that's fine. You know, everybody's competitive. He's as competitive as they get. We'll see. But I I do agree with you with, with what we were talking about yesterday. They did create the atmosphere, a one-year offer, a pay pay cut cut. at that. And I don't think – I get why he did it under those circumstances because they just just made it too hard. You know, they didn't – I mean, you look at all these guys, Stephon Diggs traded. Were the the Patriots in the running for him? You know, all these guys that are out there, the DeAndre Hopkins, were the Patriots in the running for him? Bill O'Brien from Bill Belichick's coaching tree is the guy that moved him. Were they ever in the running? Nope. Were they trying to give Brady the money, the weapons, the things that he wanted? And I'm telling you, right, look, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I would feel comfortable giving Tom Brady a two- or three-year deal because he's 43 years old. I don't care how good he's been. He's 43, and at some point, it's going to fall off. He's going to fall off. But a one-year offer at a pay cut is just crazy. It's insulting. It's, an, it's a slap in the face. they're going to regret it. They're going to regret it, and we'll get into this later. But Bill Belichick, as great a coach as he is, the record without Brady is not good. Not even not great. Not good. I know recently, oh, you won with Jacoby Brissett and Jimmy Garoppolo. Overall, it's not good, and we'll see 
how good he is without Mr. Brady. But I, so I, I the question, Rob, I want to get to is, was it a mistake? Was this the right move for Brady? Um, because, you know, obviously 20 years in, in New England, you're going to a place with a new, you're going to be in a new system. You know, we'll see if you have as good of an offensive line. You know, it's just a whole new situation. You're 43 years old. You don't move that well anymore. You don't throw it downfield that well anymore. Was this the right move for him, in your opinion? Well, even though we don't know where he's going. 100% it was the right move because there's a degree of respect that people want and pride, and it gets in the way. It happens all the time with people. People want to be treated a certain way, and uh, if they're not treated that way, it can, det- it, it can destroy a relationship. It just can. And I think that's what happened with Brady. The whole notion that he had to go out and, and, and go field offers from other people. This just remind- and, then, and then the stuff you talked about with Diggs and right. uh, Hopkins or whatever. This reminds me of when Michael Jordan left the Bulls. Right. right? That's a great it's point. It's exactly the same thing. Michael Jordan said, if you bring back Phil Jackson, I'll, be, I'll, I'll consider staying. That's exactly what he said, Chris, right, right or wrong. Yep, yep. And the first thing the Bulls did was what? Fire Phil Jackson. Yep. We're not re-signing him. It was the fir- so they told Michael J- Jordan, we don't want you. That's what think they, about that. That's think exactly that. what happened. Because people are saying, how could you move on from Tom Brady? Michael Jordan wasn't 43. Yes. Michael and, Jordan and they were, was still the best player in the world. He had just but, won his third straight championship, six overall. Still was the best player in the world, and they didn't want him. And that's a lesson, Rob, because that shows. And what did Jerry Krause, the GM, want to do? He wanted to prove I can win without Jordan. Yes, I and did remember. something, too. I found Scottie Pippen. I went out and got Dennis Rodman. And what's I'm it called? I'm the one Kukoc, the shooters right? around you, right? Kuk- right. Tony Kukos. Yeah, I went and discovered Tony Kukos. Yep. That's what he wanted to show. How'd that work out? It didn't <laughs> work out. They haven't won anything since then. No, it didn't. But that was that's what reminded me of the Brady thing. Just that no, the, or- right. the organization went against what the guy was looking for. And once you do that, and it's so blatant and, and over the top. And, and, and uh, you know, so, so, so I think I'm, Tom I'm did the right thing. I'm with you on that then. I agree that and under the circumstances, I mean, it was just disrespectful. Brady was right. I think, though, the Patriots made a mistake. I think they made a mistake because, again, they don't, unless Jared Stidham is much better than we think, unless they're going out, who they getting? Teddy Bridgewater reportedly is going to be in Carolina. I don't think they're bringing in Cam Newton. Who's left? Who's out? So, so they're going into this season. I mean, do they get go back and try to get Jacoby Brissett? Now that, you know, Phillip Rivers is going to Indianapolis. I think they made a mistake. One more. You were 12-4 and four last year. You beat Buffalo twice. You beat Philly. You beat Dallas. You you beat you played the Titans better than Baltimore did in the playoffs. I know Brady wasn't great. They should have went out and got one of those stud receivers that were on the market and made one more run at it. This was a mistake by the New England Patriots. They were nothing before Brady went there. I know uh, Parcells had them relatively successful, never won anything. They were nothing without him, and we'll see. I think they made a mistake, and they're going to soon fade back to being medi- a mediocre, slightly above average team and franchise. They didn't make a mistake because they they didn't want to pay the they didn't want to pay the forty three. When you create a monster, Chris, when you and that's what happened. They created a monster because Bill Belichick at the time when he wanted to to cut ties, they weren't he didn't he wasn't allowed to do it. The owner overruled them. So then. Brady won another Super Bowl, so he felt like, oh, no, I can play till 45. I'm, I'm different from anybody else who's ever played in the National Football League, and I want more money as I get older, and I want a, a, a better contract as I get older. They created the monster because they, they kept him, 
right at right at because they wanted to get rid of him. I think after they lost right in the Super Bowl before the before, before the before they won the win. last one. Yes. Right, you know what I mean. The year before that, when they but lost. that shows that they were premature. Well, but I'm just saying you didn't you need were, to get rid of him. He could he won you another Super Bowl. But Brady was terrible in that Super Bowl. They no won, touchdowns. He wasn't and, terrible in he the was AFC terrible. Championship. I'm just telling you, that's why they, they created won, the monster. And he wasn't. He wasn't Peyton. It wasn't Peyton Manning when in his last Super Bowl. It wasn't that bad, and he and he hasn't been that bad. I know he hadn't been the old Tom Brady, but he hadn't been horrible. Yeah, he had no weapons. So I think they made a mistake. What do you guys think? Eight seven seven ninety nine on Fox. Eight seven seven nine nine six sixty three sixty nine. Was this a mistake on Tom Brady's part? Was he right to leave the Patriots or is he wrong? And was it right for the Patriots to move on essentially? They, they created a situation where Brady almost had no choice but to move on. Will they regret it? Your turn to weigh in. All right, let's start with Vic in Tampa Bay. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Vic? Yeah, guys. Um... I don't know. I'm 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 a I'm a fair uh, NFL uh, um, obvious uh, uh, follower, and and I know that if even if Tom Brady, like you guys were to expect to leave the Patriots, I don't think that was really something that was going to happen. I, I, I honestly think that if he's going to go somewhere that he feels comfortable with, it's it's a choice he's going to make, whether if it's even anymore if it's Bill Belichick's fault, but he made that decision. I think that in the Tampa Bay area as, as, as um, relations and a native and just an obvious, you know, follower and supportive person with the Buccaneers, if they were to make a, a, a serious, you know, transaction, I mean, he's going to be in that slot. And, and for the first time in forever, I don't, I don't hate Jameis Winston and I'm not obviously, you know, <clears throat> you know, gonna hey, deny hey, it, Vic, but Vic, you got get to the point, Vic. Yeah, well, no, no, I'm just saying that that I didn't know this was happening, but but from the God honest opinion, from an organization from New England to Tampa to whoever wants to sign him, I think that if he's gonna make a decision um, to play quarterback and to be successful, then then the choice is gonna be healthy and and, and, and all right, for everyone. All right, all right, Vic. All right. Thanks. Let's go to. Uh, Let's go to uh, Tony in Maine. Tony in Maine, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Gentlemen, first time caller, long time listener for you guys, but I got to take issue with one statement that you made before the break. Well, appreciate record, that, that you that you do listen. Thank you. Absolutely, the record of the Patriots without Tom Brady. Let's just go back to the Matt Castle years did without they make the with that year. Eleven and five, though, guys. They, Eleven and five. The Don't say guys. That's Chris who doesn't believe they didn't the make Patriots the can't win without Belichick's Tom Brady. That's Chris. Seven years without. Hold Sick on, Brother, Tony. Brother, you challenged me. Belichick's had seven seasons without Brady. How many has he made the playoffs in? Agreed. But let's talk One. about the seasons One. with Tom Brady with the Patriots. That's all we're talking about here with Tom Brady with the Patriots, and that's eleven and five. One season with Matt Castle, and then four they games didn't make with the, the playoffs. Play they did not make the playoffs. I will give you that. But you're talking Tony, about Tony, over, Tony, you guys. Hey, you, you guys mentioned overall records. What overall he do records. Hold, on, hold on. You challenged me. What did he do the year before Brady became the starter? Second. What was Belichick in New England his first year before Brady became the starter with an All Pro quarterback and Drew Bledsoe? We're going. Uh, are, 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 we're going all 11. the way black. Yeah, we are because right. you you brought it up. Five right, and that, eleven. Eight. Let's let's do this. Five and thirteen before Brady took over and led him to the Super Bowl. Let's move so forward. Bra see. Brady's gone. Tony, is this the right decision? Yes or no for Tom Brady? Tom Brady, he put his time in New England. It's time to move on. He needs to get paid. He needs his contract. Absolutely the right decision. Okay, thank you, Tony. Appreciate All it. Right. What about Max in Georgia? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Max? Hey, gentlemen. Always a pleasure. This is no shock or surprise. I think we talked about this several weeks ago, and we discussed that uh, Tampa was on the radar, but I think, I think there was some poo-pooing going on. I know, Rob, you were big on San Diego. You almost had me convinced. Having said that, the Bucks just make sense. The offense, the way it's going, the big receivers. Now Tom has no excuses. So you better show up. 
you better come out. It was- signs with Tampa. Right? It's going to be good on, because Max. Tampa hold is on, to Max. me. Oh my. He's I, got a big look. And I'm not trying to defend him. He's got a built-in excuse. He's 43. If he goes there and stinks up the joint, only idiots will be like, "Ah, oh, see, I told you he wasn't any good." He's 43. Michael Jordan couldn't lead the Wizards to the playoffs in in Washington. Did that did that take away from his legacy? No. And I'm game, not it just is what it is. is. He's 43. Nobody's going to be like, I told you he's terrible. He's 43. He's Max, got a built-in excuse. Okay, how about let's go to Mark in Sacramento. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's going on, gentlemen? Hey, What's Mark, up, man? you got make sure you keep the calls to what we're talking about. I'm not saying you, right, Mark. Right, we're going to hit all the other different angles. Yeah, let's, let's, it, was this the right decision for Tom Brady on the, uh, or period. for the Patriots? In, right. in, my opinion, in my opinion, it was the right for both. It was the Patriots, you can tell this was contentious. They weren't going to pay him. They wanted to move on. I think they made that decision at 43. I think they made a business decision. It was the right one. And, Chris, you always say this. Every, every time I bring it up, you say, he ain't got no weapons. He ain't got no weapons. Well, he sure got a lot of them down in Tampa Bay. There's a couple of big, giant tight no ends, question. a really good offensive line, and two stud wide receivers. He's got no more excuses now. We'll find out. Hey, guys, real quick, if I was the Patriots, I'd make I'd make one call. I'd make a call to find out what this guy's rights is, and I'd see what the heck Andrew Luck was feeling right about now. Mm. I was him. That's just me. No, I, I mean, don't. Look, I, Dad, I, I don't. That, I don't I, think, I, you might as well make the call. That's a good. You know. Yeah, I don't, but I don't. I don't think, I don't think. But I don't think that the, it would be that simple. That his rights because he retired, and you know what I mean. I, I'm not so sure. Yeah, you're that right. If I'm in, in Indianapolis and I gave him the rest of his contract. He couldn't do that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't see that. Yeah, I don't know how many. Gavin, can you look up how yeah, many check, years he had left? Left, because, you know, they might all still have his rights yeah. or something. Yep. I'm just guessing. All right, uh, let's go to, uh, did we get the idea? Isaiah in Baltimore, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Isaiah? Hey, the Buccaneers, they, they tasted victory before, you know, earlier in the century. So and they've been <laughs> waiting for this moment. They're, they're, they've been waiting for a chance to win again, and now they have the goat to try. And hopefully, you know, maybe if it's just like a Joe Montana in Kansas City where he can get him to an NFC championship game, I think they would be satisfied with that, you know, um, just to the taste of victory again. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to tell I mean, you this. The, the, what, the, go ahead, yeah. Rob. Oh, okay. I was going to say, what about the Patriots? Was this right for them? Oh, uh, the Patriots – um, now, the Patriots is interesting because, like you guys said, we don't know who's, on the, who's in the market for them. I mean, are they going to trade for Cam Newton? Are they going to potentially trade for a top five, ten pick and maybe snag Tua Tagovailoa or Justin Herbert from uh, oh, Oregon? If they can do that, that'd be great. If, yeah. You know, so it, it's going to be interesting. I think this is all about Brady and Belichick. It's finally okay. We're going to see who needed who. Well, even though it's going to it took a long time, we're going to see – who's going to be more successful without the other. A lot of people feel like Brady's going to win the short term because of where he's going. He's going to be in a better uh, situation in Tampa Bay right now. But we're going to see if Bill Belichick has truly evolved from the coach he was in Cleveland or if it really was more about Brady and Robert Kraft and everything like that. I appreciate the call. Let's talk to uh, Craig in Maine. Let's squeeze him in. Chris, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hey, guys, thanks for the call. All right, first I want to address the Matt Castle thing. It ain't about him winning 11 games. It's how the hell did he lose five games with that lineup the Pats had that year when Brady got hurt. Okay, okay so you with me. Yeah, you know, how do yeah. you even lose five games? You know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, uh, as far as the right decision, of course it's the right decision. I mean, your last call uh, you know, said the wide receivers and the offensive line and plus O.J. Howard at tight end. I mean, and then look at the defenses he's got in that. I mean, the Saints, they're all right. The Panthers, they're in disarray. The Falcons, they're the Falcons. I mean, Brady's going into a really, really good position. And what the Patriots did to him, I mean, I don't care if he limped out there. If the ship's sinking, you don't bail. You know, you don't – and, Brady, you know, Belichick's the captain. He bails, if you ask this was, me. This was, Bel- this was pure Belichick through and through. This is what this he does. What- we shouldn't look at it like – I mean, we, we think a Tom Brady deserves better treatment, and I think he does. But we shouldn't be surprised. This is what Belichick's done with all their players, right? 